الباب وش مسويين وياك بحكم احمد بشير يقول لك لما تعال جيمز جيم خلينا ندير جيمز جيم تت وتوي راجع من كولون من جيرماني جيمز كوم الى الايفنت الخاص ببرو فيلوشن سوكر في الشرق الاوسط Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm alright. You're busy. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm tired, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been like five hours and I was in Cologne. It's crazy how... Yeah, this is it. You're a global content <laughs> global. icon now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so can you introduce yourself to our fans? Uh, yeah, so I'm Mark Milton. I am Head of wow. Emerging Markets for Konami. Uh, and what's the new... Why did you focus this year on Provolution Software and the Middle East? Like you brought the APC and also the Overclave as an official commentator for yeah. Provolution Software. Um, I think our main priority for, for PEZ is, is to improve the game and to ensure that it is something that consumers uh, enjoy and want to play. Um, I think we realize that um, in local markets, the the approach of a, a one-size-fits-all game, um, it, it doesn't work. And I think uh, Konami wants to be closer to the fans. We, um, as you uh, will know, Pez has got a very long and strong history um, in, in the Middle East. Yeah. Uh, and so um, where we are now is, is um, really investing and in taking the region seriously. Um, and we've always taken the region seriously, but, um, but really trying to do something that, that matters and keeps the game relevant. So uh, Rav Khalif, uh, as, as commentator, um, with, uh, with AFC involvement uh, and, and with uh, local stadiums, um, all of these, are, it's, it's the right direction and it, it's respectful of, of, uh, of local fans and the community because if they know that we're passionate about what they, they enjoy, I mean, I'm not taking away from the fact that people want to play uh, for Manchester United or, or anyone else, uh, but, yeah, <laughs> uh, of course, but um, as, uh, as we were hearing today from Dr. Javez, it's, uh, I think when players are engaging with the game, they want to experience a lot of things and so having uh, local uh, or locally relevant leagues as well as the big you know the, the big global stuff it's just as important so we just want to make uh, you know, good games uh, and they need to be relevant locally and if we do those things and people enjoy our game it works for us and it works for consumers so it, it's it's commonsensical but it, it takes a lot of effort you know uh, not by me I would add the hard <laughs> guys working hard uh, you know in Japan and the studio FCS studio uh, in Windsor as well so uh, yeah it's, it's an exciting time I've come in um, and I see uh, uh, some really interesting investment and, and interesting games coming through so this is just gonna be the start for Konami to localize games or I, I think in all markets uh, I you know what we well I won't skirt around is that we we have co corporate goals and objectives um, but the, the heart of Konami is, is, is making great games that add, that add value to the time people spend on them. Uh, so um, for me, uh, of emerging markets, um, part of my role is to ensure that, um, that my regions um, get the resource uh, and time that, that we want. Um, and that's not just with um, someone coming over here saying we need to have higher prices or lower prices. Um, it's ensuring that people understand the uh, uh, localization issues, uh, uh, cultural challenges, um, and, and also just understanding how people perceive our brand. It's not a one-size-fits-all brand. People have varying degrees of love for it and different uh, attachments. So, um, so uh, yeah, my hope is for all regions that I look after um, that they get as much support that they can. So uh, translation, uh, uh, local production, anything that will help uh, us commercially get the game into the hands of consumers and consumers to be happy so it's sort of a win-win it's a bit of a cliche but that is you know it, it is how things work for us uh, I think it's hard to localize games like uh, Metal Gear Solid and trying to make it fit the culture of the Middle yeah. East uh, but it's easier to localize games like let's say uh, Proof of Soccer which is a football so uh, yeah um, I think we've uh, and again, I'm not as close to the development, uh, but um, there are certainly challenges, as, as we all know. Um, uh, uh, just just branding, licensing, and saying, "Hey, we've got to deal with AFC." Um, it, you know, unfo unfortunately, it, it doesn't work like that. You yeah. know, um, even even the detail we've gone into in crowds, in, um, in in making sure that we have the the right Arabic for the right games, so the right chanting for the right games. That is the level of detail, and that is how seriously we take it. Which is ironic, given we want people to enjoy and have fun with the game. We take it very seriously. So, um, but um, yeah. I, so uh, you work with the guys from Pluto Games on yes. uh, trying to see 
which commentator will fit the game and uh, can you tell us about that process um, uh, t- to be fair it was it was before my time I'm, I'm fairly new to Konami I'm only three months old yeah. but um, I feel as though I've yeah. been there for a long time now it's, it's <laughs> been it's been it's been quite intense but enjoyable um, I think um, one of the observations that, I, that I've had uh, personally is that um, no matter what endorsement player you put on the front, no matter what team you license, um, you, you know, someone, else uh, someone, someone else will say, I don't like that team, I don't like that endorsement player and so on. A- absolutely, we, we can't get it right. Um, I think what we are trying to do, we've taken our time uh, with, uh, with this, uh, this edition of, of PEZ, uh, this iteration of PEZ, um, and we've spoken locally we've tried to get who we feel really we'll we, we really fit the game but again it, it's a very complex area and, and everywhere you can speak to some people and they love who you chose and other people say well it's good but it could be better so um, yeah so look why didn't you get two yeah, 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 pres- yeah precisely yeah so uh, I, it, it's a first step in a long way um, we, we will you know, we will not step into an area and pretend that we know best. Yeah. Um, um, we, we will make games, and I think that's that's our area of expertise. You know, we think we know what drives consumers. We think we know how to get people engaged, uh, how to engage football fans, and to reward them for playing the game. Um, when it comes to making choices uh, around uh, who, where, what and why, um, it's more complex. But I hope by taking our time, um, people recognise that we're trying to do our, our, our best. And we're certainly exceptionally uh, excited by uh, PES this year because of these changes. But they've been a long time coming and the studio have worked and invested a huge amount of time in getting to where we are now. The Fox Engine, with the Abs- yeah. the Absolutely. Whole, it's a whole package. Well, the Fox Engine is, is a, is a great example where um, by by, uh, by yeah well but by putting something like that in, in the game it's, it's forced us to really reevaluate and start from the ground up in a number of scenarios so um, you built so, the game from start like um, from that's it look again I you uh, get into areas where I'm thinking yeah, yeah. Uh, but but yes it, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so I'm not going to profess to be an yeah. e- expert in this but what I what I do know is that people are excited by um, by the new the new gameplay uh, the, and what the engine has given us, which is a uh, new gameplay, new ge- a new detail, um, and and a new passion. Yeah, so uh, you know, I, I, one of those things that people un- undoubtedly compare us to other football games available in the market and you know, <laughs> what we're trying to do is grow the business for everyone um, what we'll do is focus on what we think will work and what consumers will enjoy and what will reward Pez fans so uh, so for us it's, it's a, there's been a tremendous amount of work this year and I've only been there for a short amount of time but I've seen the extent that, that the guys go to to ensure that, that consumers get something that they are, 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 they will love and can engage with so uh, it, it's actually uh, it, it's a privilege for me to, to be able to sit here on behalf of Konami yeah. talking about a game that people have worked so hard on you know so uh, yeah uh, so I put on a suit and I sit in front of you you know uh, I hope I'm not doing too many cliches or reading from no, a press no, no, release but I genuinely believe what, what we're talking about otherwise I hope you you would tell so um, uh, yeah. we can tell because uh, this year Konami showed that they are really interested in the Middle East for example like by the uh, I think by March or something uh, Haruki Kojima came and visited uh, yeah, Dubai yeah. Uh, and, and that was a big thing for us we, yeah. we, we never had someone like that to come and visit us and it wasn't at games uh, yeah. it, it was well, a special uh, event and, um, it's, it's really special uh, and, and it, it's um, you know it's fantastic that we have uh, Masuda-san uh, involved in this so for someone who um, came out of university went straight into Konami and has been involved in the heritage you know I mean Masuda-san is really the is the uh, is the DNA of the of the product you know it, it, clearly it takes a whole team and a view but um, you know we we have a, a number of my uh, Mr. Hirano who's president for Europe and Mr. Enomoto uh, the, the focus and support that we have across Konami uh, for for the Middle East um, is really exciting and mm-hmm. um, it and I keep saying this to other people it, it, it makes my life much easier it also makes it much more difficult because there's a very high expectation but with, with the love and support you know, we, we're getting out what we're putting in you know, the support has been fantastic so uh, that, that will continue and, and I hope we're for our, our new games that will be coming uh, over the next couple of years you will see uh, a, 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 yeah, not just playing, paying lip service to, to, to playing locally but genuinely caring what people think and, and hopefully giving games that they want to play so yeah
Thank you very much. No, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's great to meet you. Great to meet you. When I grab your hand, you turn away. Hello, shut up.